Hello Witch Bookie followers and welcome back to another anti-post video looking forward at the St. Ledger this weekend at Doncaster. A really good weekend of flat action with the St. Ledger Festival at Doncaster and also Irish Champions Weekend between Leopardstown and the Curra and hopefully we might have a video or two for those races as well. But looking forward to the Ledger and I completely understand that so far there hasn't been too many anti-post videos from myself and also they haven't given us too much luck. We actually haven't had a runner yet uh, that's been declared so it is something that's weighing in the back of my mind and those that will know me well will know that there'll be plenty more anti-post selections through the jump season rather than the flat season flat season i find hard to pinpoint and there's two horses that i'm going to put up for the saint ledger this afternoon and yet they mightn't be declared this time tomorrow so it is the risk you take but at the prices i'm willing to take those risks and see whether the race might cut up a little bit and give us a bit of a chance Hurricane Lane is our favourite in the St. Ledger and he's a horse I like a lot, I really do, and I backed him in the Derby, backed him in the Irish Derby, and with obviously varying successes at the time. He's 4-6 to six though, which is obviously very short going into a race such as this, considering he's never ran up the trip before, and there's a couple more unknowns that would certainly take me away from backing him at 4-6, to six. and even though he's a likely winner and potentially uh, I, I'd quite like him to go on and win to a certain extent, I wouldn't be backing him at that price, and I'm really willing to take him on at those sort of prices. The rest at the top of the market, the likes of Ottoman Empire, Moho, Star, and High Definition are certainly horses that I'd like to be taking on, especially High Definition, who's shown next to nothing this year thus far. Instead, I'm going to be siding with two horses at much bigger prices, and both trained by Aidan O'Brien. Main one being Interpretation, who's currently 20 to 1 uh, in plenty of bookmakers' spots for three places, and I think that's a decent enough each way bet. This seems to be his only long-term entry at the moment so therefore you'd like to hope that he will run here rather than maybe running at Leopardstown or the Curra over the weekend. He's been a steadily progressive horse and he's won a couple of times recently in smaller events but has also done well to win given Aidan O'Brien's horses weren't running too nicely at that stage. He seems to be all one of these horses that all he does is stay and certainly there seems to be untapped potential at him at these staying trips of a mile five, mile six and potentially up into being a cup horse next year. He beat Fernando Vici last time out by length and a half and that's form he will have to improve upon and on the ratings he probably has to find around a stone with her Hurricane Lane's best performance. I understand that, but this horse certainly has at least proven himself at the trip, and you know he's going to be staying on at the finish, which is a trait and a, a personality trait of a horse that I quite like. So at 20 to 1, I think he's worth a go. The other one that I'm going to take a mad stab on, and he potentially mightn't run because he's got a few chances over in the Curra. He's entered in the two mile Lock Brown Stakes on Sunday, and it's King of the Castle, who I'm just convinced is going to crop up at a big price and run a big race in one of these races at some stage. He's currently as big as 66 to 1 with William Hill. That's an outlaw price. The majority of the rest going 50 to 1 and he's in as short as 25 to 1 with Paddy Power. That's for three places and again it's a risk I'm just about willing to take given that if he does run he might actually outrun those odds. He finished sixth in a big handicap at the York Ebor Festival where he fell out of the gates and William Buick had to use an awful lot of petrol to get him into any sort of a challenging position. He ended up weakening out of things and that was to be expected given how kind of poorly he dealt with it at the start and how poorly he got away. He surely is better than that and certainly some of his performances in Ireland would indicate that a step up in trip is well than needed considering he finished second at Down Royal behind Iowa and then winning his maiden down in Limerick where all he did is stay. He's got RPRs in the kind of high 90s and early 100s which is really nowhere near good enough but as I say it was a little bit like a Ron Naveen running in the Derby last year. You just felt there was something there for him to run a big race potentially from the front and if on a lively outside or King of the Castle may well outrun those odds at 66s with William Hill and 50s with other bookies. And those are the two that I'll be taking forward this Saturday for the Ledger. And fingers crossed this time tomorrow that they're declared and that they can run their heart out on Saturday.